There are times when you'll want to exclude certain files from being hosted on your repository. And this could be for any reason at all, but most commonly it's for files that contain sensitive information like database passwords or API keys. In this part, we're going to create a git ignore file, which is a file that lists all the files that you don't want to be seen by git. It will simply pretend they're not there. However, on a local machine, you'll still have them available so you can make use of them. Let's create a file called config.php and we'll head over to our editor and we'll just return an array in here. Now, it doesn't matter if you don't understand what this means in terms of the code, just know that it holds a password and we don't want this publicly available on our hello world repo. So let's go ahead and save this out and if we run git status, you can see that we have an untracked file. At this stage, we want to be really careful that we don't commit this file and especially careful that we don't push it up to our repo. Instead, we're going to create another file called git ignore. And this is a dot file. In here, we can use a variety of patterns to exclude single files, directories, file types, and so on. Now, just a tip here, if you head over to your console and run git help git ignore, you'll see helpful documentation giving you more information on this. For now though, we're just gonna write config.php in here and save this out. Let's head over to our console again and run git status. And you'll see we get something different to what we had before. Git has detected the creation of the git ignore file and has now removed the config.php file from the untracked list. Perfect. Now all we need to do is add the git ignore file. So I'll say git add git ignore, run git status, and then we'll go ahead and commit this. So git commit. There we go. So if we do a push on this, you'll see that the config file has not been added. Cool. So we've now learned how to exclude files and directories from being pushed to our repo.